please click like and subscribe. Former Navy SEAL promises a gruesome massacre in America if liberals follow through on threat. A Facebook post is making the rounds on the social media platform this week. It warns the far-left Clinton loons of potentially deadly consequences if they try to remove President Donald Trump from office. The warning came from former Navy SEAL and all-around American hero Craig Salmon Sawyer. He was the one who issued the grim warning to anyone thinking about trying to remove President Trump from the office in a way that is anything less than constitutional. According to our Constitution, Congress can only remove a sitting president for his inability to recognize that the Constitution itself is the law of the land and that he must abide by his oath to preserve, protect and defend it. Which is an oath every elected official takes but soon forgets. The very oath which would have made former President Barack Hussein Obama a prime target for easy removal from office, sparing us eight horrendous years. But of course, since he was black and a far left-wing nutbag who was protected by mob rule, nothing ever came of it. Even after it was proven beyond a doubt that he used the IRS to go after his enemies in the Tea Party. Here is the full letter. Note, nowhere here does this say innocent civilians, or a legit impeachment. On the contrary, this speaks specifically to an illegal silent coup by corrupt officials using false charges, as has leaked out by Clinton cronies lately. Anything else is a different scenario entirely. Honor our Constitution. Keep it straight, thumbs up. Americans, patriots, pray for our nation. Pray for our president. I'm hearing serious rumblings of a hostile, illegal coup against our democratically elected president by seditious, deep state subversives funded by Soros and other globalists. Very disturbing. Patriots, this would be nothing less than an act of war against the American people. It would be the removal of our boldest defender and last possibility of maintaining our protective constitution. Under the boot of globalists, life as we know it, would immediately decline to the model that suits the globalist interest, Marxist slash socialist slash communist. They get complete control, you get zero. Freedom, gone. Liberty, gone. This agenda is evil and simply cannot be allowed at any cost. Like all military, law enforcement and government officials, I took an oath to defend our constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. By abandoning the rule of law and conducting a coup against the president and policies we the people elected, they have made themselves enemies of the United States. Under threat, all patriots, whether civilian, law enforcement, government, or military, have the duty to defend our constitution against such enemies. Some speculate on civil war. I readily recognize a much more sobering reality, anti-American subversives involved in any way in an unconstitutional coup against our president will be run down and executed immediately by the world's most supreme warriors. There will be nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide, no mercy, no sense of humor. Harsh examples will be made. My prediction is it will be a gruesome M.E. Why? Because one side in this conflict has 8 trillion bullets and the other side doesn't know which bathroom to use. It will likely only take a few hours. Lessons will be learned. History will take note. Order restored. Patriots, we the American people stand united as one, against all enemies. We are peace-loving people who abide by the rule of law. Prepare yourselves in case this ridiculous insanity actually gets played out and the rule of law goes out the window under their gross miscarriage of our legal process. Shaking my head. United we stand. At the ready. USA, USA. Of course, the left is already calling this the result of Trump rhetoric, and not what it actually is, the result of a silent destruction and overthrow of a sitting, democratically elected, president. After years of the left trying to convince us that we on the right are to be feared since we, as Barry Sitara said, cling to our God, G.S., and religion, we now see it was just an act to play the victim card. These left-wing loons were under the impression that after a failed presidency, which turned our great nation into a petri dish of social justice lunatic experiments such as Obama did, they would never lose another election. They just can't fathom the fact that an outsider like Donald Trump would actually win the presidency by as huge an electoral margin as he did. So they take it upon themselves to riot and protest violently. Us on the right are a peace-loving people and the last thing we crave is war, but if you push us, and destroy the man we chose to be our president, and who makes sense to us, we won't go quietly into the night. So it's best you on the left just sit your rear ends down and shut up, like we did for the dark eight years of Obama before you all hurt yourselves. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.